Put your hands together for Julio Torres, everybody. You should you, you go. You should you should hi hi first of all hello hi hi. Um, you should you should really go see the Huntsman Winter War. It's or 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 as I like to call it. Uh, Queen of Gold versus Queen of Ice, <laughs> the movie. <laughs> the movie that finally answers the question of the elements, who wins, ice or gold? <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil it for everyone, but here are some of my favorite moments. Uh, at one point, oh, by the way, most of the movie's about some guy. <laughs> so during most of the movie, you don't get to see the queens. Um, but when the queens are fighting, ooh. So at one point, at one point in the movie, that one guy, um, he's like, we must stop her or everything we love will be covered in ice. <laughs> then my second favorite moment in the movie <laughs> is when the queen of ice goes up to the, to the magic mirror, because by the way, this is somehow connected to Snow White. <laughs> she goes up to the magic mirror and she goes, mirror, mirror in the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And then the queen of gold steps out of the mirror and goes, does this answer your question? <laughs> Give it a chance. <laughs> but also both queens co-rule the kingdom and it crumbles in like five seconds. <laughs> so the kingdom's like two queens, we can't. <laughs> Again, give it a chance. Um, okay, I, I really don't mean to get political so early in my set, but if I were president, I would begin every State of the Union address with, not to be a bitch, but... <laughs> not to be a bitch, but the economy's doing pretty well, and then people would clap and clap and clap. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, uh, if, I, if I were president, I guess my first order of business would be uh, going to uh, uh, America outside of New York uh, just to see what the hell that's all about. <laughs> but I, I've never been, but I imagine it being a lot like uh, Queens. <laughs> just, uh, uh, Queens as far as the eye can see. Yeah, I've never been to Middle America, and boy, I just, I just want to see a gazebo before I die. <laughs> um, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm vegan, and uh, uh, up until earlier today, I thought that the uh, V in a, a V card stood for vegan. <laughs> so I, uh, I've been making the most embarrassing mistakes. <laughs> I've been like, if I ever lose my V-card, I want it to be a Peter Luger Steakhouse. <laughs> so now my friends think I've never had sex at Peter Luger Steakhouse. I, uh, I went to the doctor, and the doctor told me that I was uh, very underweight. And I was like, stop it. Shut up. <laughs> You're underweight. <laughs> he wasn't. He's just like regular sized doctor. <laughs> but he was being so nice, I figured. <laughs> just say something back. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not American. Uh, I'm, I'm originally from El Salvador. And I, I 
something I've been hearing a lot lately is people going, oh, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Canada. Or if, oh, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Europe. Uh, as, a, as an immigrant, that feels a lot like when you finally get to the party and your friends are like, I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> so I think I'm just, I'm just really tired. I have to work tomorrow. And you're like, oh, no, great, that's fine. It's not like it took thousands of law lawyers and just so much money <laughs> to get to the party. No, that's good. That's okay. <laughs> um, when I when I die, uh, I want to get cryogenically frozen so I can wake up in the future and uh, uh, keep trying. <laughs> um, I was thinking. The hardest part about being immortal uh, must be watching all of your family and loved ones age and have to go, no, you look fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, oh, yeah, it's fine, you look fine. Uh, when clearly they're getting old. Um, for this next little thing that I'm going to do, I, you know, because of where we are and what the what the event description was, uh, and what I was introduced as, you know, you, you, there's a certain expectation that I'm gonna do uh, comedy. I don't know if this thing I'm about to do is that, um, but maybe it's a movie. Um, okay, for this next thing, uh, this next piece, uh, imagine that I'm an archaeologist. I'm in front of a wall of hieroglyphs and I'm holding a lantern. <sighs> there she is again. Different civilization. Different century. Same name. Shakira. That's that. <laughs> you know what it is? It's the beginning to a Shakira music video. <laughs> How do I... Her... Her email is probably just Shakira at gmail.com. <laughs> right? Statistically speaking, her email is probably just Shakira at gmail.com. You know, I, I was never a big fan of Lord of the Rings. I never got what the fuzz was all about until I realized that it's, that it's a three book epic saga about destroying a hideous piece of jewelry. So the, the story is essentially just a bunch of characters going, wait, no, I want to try it on, I want to try it on. And the hero being like, no, it's hideous and it must be destroyed. <laughs> and at some points you're like, ooh, actually I think he can kind of pull it off. Let's see how it looks on him. And it's like, no, 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 destroy it. And then they succeed, which is good. <laughs> Gold, it's just so tacky. Um, this next piece, okay, this is a uh, uh, John Malkovich pretending that the shirt he's wearing didn't come from Urban Outfitters. It's John Malkovich pretending that the shirt he's wearing didn't come from Urban Outfitters. I, I don't know, maybe, I can't remember, if anything, it was probably a gift. <laughs> that was. I'm done with that one. Um, you know, lately I've been, I've been a little stressed because I, well, I, I, I got a hospital bill in the mail, 
and um, I don't have insurance. Uh, so just just seeing the the amount the hospital bill was for was so disconcerting. But more than anything, it was just very confusing because I just didn't. When I when I got the hospital bill, I was like. I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get why it's that high. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I see what happened. I, I, I got it with avocado. $55,000 for extra avocado. Yeah. Um, my, uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, Brad had a birthday recently and I, uh, I, I didn't know what to get him. Now I, I I really don't mean to generalize, but my friend Brad he's um, uh, he's he's straight. Um, so I I got him the one thing I know straight guys really 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 like. I got him a, an empty Gatorade bottle to put in his room. Uh, he can use it as like a little trash can, I guess, or he can like put. <laughs> he can put quarters in it. I don't know. He's very happy with this empty gate right now. Okay. To end, uh, I'm just gonna do a series of little celebrity impressions. Uh, so from this moment, I am uh, uh, merely a vessel. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the I, I I I no, I don't know what to say. The uh, the bandanas, the backpacks, the tattoos, the hats. I I I certainly didn't plan for it. I I, I mean, I welcome it, and, I, and and I'm incredibly honored. But no, I I never saw it coming. Uh, that was a uh, uh, Betty Boop uh, talking about how, for whatever reason, she's a Puerto Rican icon. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> she's like a she's a flapper, right? That's the backstory. She's a depression era dancer. <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> Here's another one. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Uh, that's uh, uh, Tilda Swinton uh, putting her baby niece to bed. <laughs> Hi, excuse me, we're gonna make two stops. Uh, that's just uh, me being a real bitch inside of an ambulance. <laughs> Uh, that was just uh, uh, me as an air traffic controller. <laughs> 
so embarrassing. Everyone just looking at you like that. <laughs> well, you know, every day I tell myself, Julio, figure out how to end a set. I don't know. Tomorrow's another day, I guess. I'll figure it out then. Uh, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Julio Torres, everybody.